coverage you can count on continues with Glenn Marini's Sports Report. Sports coverage you can count on. Into doing this gym, where I uh, basically grew up at through my years of middle school. Going from a kid who just likes to play basketball to someone who loves it and to see himself being uh, a pro in the future. So it was nice to do it here. Keon Brooks fans are feeling blue. Not sad blue as in blue, but blue as in Kentucky Wildcats blue, right? Well, as you heard earlier, the Fort Wayne native making his college announcement, and he wants to be a pro. And check this stat out. Kentucky has had 26 first-round draft picks over the last decade. We're talking almost three a year. Keon's a smart one. Andy McDonald has the story. Thanks, Glenn. With NBA aspirations, it's hard to argue against Kentucky for Keon Brooks Jr. The former Northside standout and five-star recruit picked the Wildcats over in-state Indiana, Michigan State, and North Carolina. Big blue, they land a big-time recruit. The putting on this hat, it was great. Uh, it was a relief for me and my family both. So uh, it just felt good to finally uh, get it over with. When we were up in La Lumiere, you talked about Coach Calipari being kind of a basketball nerd like yourself. How can you and Calipari, you and Kentucky, kind of make a great fit? Like I said, he's a basketball genius and a nerd. And I'm trying to just soak it all in and learn whatever I can. So I just want to go in and be a sponge. You know, he has a tremendous amount of knowledge to give me. And, and so does the rest of the coaching staff. So I feel like just me being, me being willing to learn and uh, stay focused every day is what made this a uh, match made in heaven. It's probably the hardest decision we've had, you know, as a family. I mean, it, it's, it's a process that you, you're really trying to find the best situation for him. Um, you're torn because you, you got to get rid of your baby to somebody and you got to, you know, trust in somebody to do the right things. And he had a great, great list of coaches that recruited him and done a great job with it. I can't say anything but the utmost about those guys. Those guys are just some stand-up coaches and programs that, you know, really put a, a lot of time in, into doing that. And, you know, when you have those type of programs, that's a tough decision. You know, it's, it's, it came down to just the, being a fit for him um, and uh, it, was, it was difficult. What's it going to be like when you're introduced for the first time at Rupp Arena? It's going to be crazy. Um, I can't wait for it. I can't wait to, uh, you know, I obviously finish the season with Lalu, chase that national championship we're going after. But then after that, get focused on uh, winning the national championship at, uh, at Kentucky. At Wayne 15, we certainly see Keon Brooks Jr. grow from his time here at St. Paul Lutheran. Now the venue, it also gets bigger to Rupp Arena. From St. Paul Lutheran, I'm Andy McDonald, Wayne 15.